Hi, Lauren. Um, I'm Brad. Welcome to our clinic. Um, I think you were referred here by somebody else, but you know, regardless, I want to welcome you here. A couple of things we have to take care of just um, as a matter of course, confidentiality. Anything you say in this room and with me is confidential, with the exception if you uh, may pose an imminent threat to yourself, self-harm, and or somebody else. Okay? Okay. So everything else is, is completely between us, okay? Okay. So, um, what brings you here? Well, I'm not really sure. I, um, my husband made the appointment for me. I'm uh, not even really sure why I'm wasting your time uh, because I thought everything was fine. Apparently, um, my assistant in my office downtown called my husband because I haven't uh, shown up to work uh, for about a week or so because um, I just quite honestly didn't see the point. Um, my husband went looking for me and I was over in a field looking at some trees and looking at the stream by our house and I, I don't see anything wrong with that but I didn't see any point of going to work. I sort of feel like I'm not making a difference at all in the world. Okay, so have you felt this way before? I have in the past, um, but I always thought I was going to, you know, make a lot of money. That was one of my goals, and I did, and I do make a lot of money and, and have a family, and I do. But um, I have a nanny, and my kids are in, you know, elementary school age, and they're fine without me, and I feel like I sort of just missed the boat, missed the opportunity to do things with them, and there's not really any, any point. I feel like I should be doing other things. I don't see the point of going to work anymore. Okay, so... Going and going into the woods and, and, and just kind of being by yourself. What was that like? I felt very much at ease a lot of peace. I felt peaceful Okay, as opposed to Just going to work and telling people what to do and you know having to go to meetings that seem ultimately totally useless uh, when there's a, you know, there's you know problems in the world people are there riots there's illness, they're, you know, war, and I'm in this meeting, you know, met, you know, hour after hour going to different meetings, just not making a difference at all. Okay. So what, what is the work that you do? I run a company downtown. Okay. Yeah. Pretty stressful? Yeah, it's a pretty stressful job, but I am usually good under stress. It's not the stress that really bothers me, it's the fact that I, I don't see the point anymore. Okay, so why did you start doing this job and this career? Well, it was just always what I knew I was going to do. My, my parents um, ran companies and I went to business school and, you know, it was just one of those things where I was always um, wanted to be successful and I married somebody who's a successful person also, but I feel like that doesn't matter anymore and I'm not sure when that change happened, but the more I go out and look at the woods and look at the wilderness, it matters less and less. Okay. Well, you said successful a couple of times, and you define that as running this company and everything else. Is that how you wanted to find What's success mean for you? Well, in, in, in the past, it's always meant money and, and um, a family and a nice house and a fancy, you know, um, a fancy life pretty much. But uh, I think that might be the problem because it's not, but that doesn't seem, I feel unfulfilled. What's that feel like, the unfulfillment? Just sort of an empty loneliness, you know, when I, I just feel like there's no, that there's no point, that it doesn't matter if I don't show up at work one day oh, really? or the next. And, and, and my kids would be fine with their nanny and, you know, I just feel sort of like I don't have a purpose in life, that I'm not going to make a difference in the world. What would making a difference look like? Maybe help, maybe, maybe doing something where volunteering um, overseas or volunteering even in, in you know, even locally. Uh, but I, there's no time when, you know, you're supposed to be going to work every day uh, in, a, in a fancy job. Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Fancy job. Say more about that. What's, the, what's a fancy job? Uh, like what it's supposed to be defined as, you know, in a big building downtown and um, you know, one of those types, not, not, a, not a, a, a job where you can wear uh, whatever you want to wear, shorts or a t-shirt or go outside. It's not an outside job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you also said supposed to. What do you mean by supposed to? 
Well, I think probably just because that's how I grew up and my, my family had a lot of money. And I feel like in this, uh, there's, you know, certain, um, uh, I guess, class or type of people in this country where you feel like you have to, you have to do a certain, a certain things. They're sort of pre, dis, dis, they're, they're prescribed things, a certain prescribed path you have to take. And I did that, and I, and that was supposed to be fulfilling, and that was the, that was success years ago, I guess. But it doesn't feel like that anymore. So. So there's what you're supposed to do, and then there's this whatever other thing walking around in the woods. What's the difference there? Well, walking around in the woods, I can think and I have a chance to think about what things I might do to make a difference in the world, what things would make me truly happy on the inside, and quite honestly, I'm not sure it's anything I'm doing right now. Hmm. Yeah. And how, how does that make you feel? What, what, what goes on? Uh, it's pretty depressing. Right. Pretty depressing, and um, you know, I, I don't. I want. I I'm, I'm. I don't feel like I want to hurt myself. Or I don't want to die. But I just need. I don't know what I want. I'm not actually sure. I need. I, I want to have. I want meaning in my life. And I'm not sure how to get it. Yeah, meaning's a tough thing. Yeah, and trying to find meaning and trying to get meaning in our life, particularly when you've been under. It sounds like it was kind of told to you what meaning was mm -hmm. and what you were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, I'm thinking for like a, our first little bit of homework, if you're willing and amenable to this, what I'd like you to do is um, just go back in the woods. Can you take a couple of days off of work? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Go back in the woods, just spend some time there let everybody know so they're mm. not worried about you. Mm. But go back and see what that see what that's like. See what that's like. And um, you don't have to necessarily write it down or anything, but just kind of remember what's going on with that. And how that makes you feel and how that makes you feel um, and well we can talk about how that makes you feel relative to what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah? Okay. That sound good? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then if you're amenable to it, I know that you know your husband made disappointment, but if you're amenable to it, to to meet next week and, and talk about how that went? Sure, I could do that. Okay. Hey Lauren, welcome back. Um, nice to see you again. Um, noticed that you kind of got busy and had to postpone for a week or so, but what's I, been going on? I got a little busy. In fact, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to have to leave a little early today because I've got a couple meetings to go to. I have some things to do. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Well, you know, I just started working a lot more. I just went, um, you know, I've been working late. I've been getting a lot done at work. Good. Okay. Is that, that, that feels good? No, no. That's, it's the right thing to do. Okay. okay. So, what we talked about last time was you going back into the woods and letting people know that you were safe and everything. Um, how did that go? You know, it was great. I I, I liked it. I did. A, I liked it a lot. But um, I don't know. I just I just think I I just think what I'm supposed to be doing is working a, a lot. Okay. It's supposed to be. We talked about that before. What it's supposed to be based on what? Well, um, that, you know, that I have a job. I don't want to lose the job. I have an expensive house, you know, and I, I have to, you know, I could, my husband and I share the financial responsibilities and we're going to send our kids to private schools and so we, we um, you know, I have to keep, the, keep it up. Okay. So, how does that feel for you, to feel like you have to keep it up? Not very, not not great. Okay. When I went into the when I went to the woods, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I, I felt much more at peace. But the problem was, I, I felt like I enjoyed it too much that I, I, I was afraid I'd never want to go back to my present life. So, so I, so I left because I was afraid that I would give up everything. Give up everything. What would that look like? 
give up on the, the life that I have right now with the expensive things and the, you know, the fancy cars and the big house. And I was afraid that I disappoint my family and that I would, my parents and that I'd disappoint my friends and I wouldn't be the same person. And I started, the more I was out there at the end of the second day, I just felt so in touch with nature that I, I was really afraid that I, I just, I just would never want to return to my old job. And that was very scary for me and it felt, caused a lot of anxiety. Okay. So, but you went back to your, your old job and you're, you're going back to your old job and you know, doing well as always. Um, so maybe, you know, for next week, if you have time and you're willing, um, maybe for next week you could see what it feels like, maybe just go to the woods for a little bit and then go to your work and then maybe just write down a couple of things, a couple of things that, that um, okay, this is what happened when I was in the woods, this is what happened when I was, um, when I was at, at, at my job, just quickly. No big, huge, onerous task or anything like that, but just a little something. Okay, I could do that. Does that sound okay? Just a couple hours a day, maybe? Oh, you don't even have to do that. Just like jot some things down. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, okay. all right. Hey, Lauren, welcome back. Um, Jeff, you look kind of more relaxed and stuff. What, what's been going on? Well, I, I appreciated your suggestion to, to kind of compare how I felt when I was at work and when I was outside. And um, it felt good to kind of like, like actually write, I actually wrote it down, to write it down and actually like compare the two and realize um, actually how much happier I felt when I was outside and, you know, in nature. I did some hikes alone by myself and that was actually a really helpful thing too. Um, but I just realized after comparing those things that I, I really don't, I don't like my job. I don't like my job and I'm not sure I'm very happy in my marriage and that's upsetting, but I feel like there's a balance because I feel at peace when I'm outside in the woods. Yeah, that's that's got to be tough. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's pretty big between your job and your marriage and, um, yeah, yeah. realizing those things. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. I have made a couple other, you know, trips out into the woods and hiking just to kind of, it's helped actually this time with the stress and feeling anxious, but it is, it is very unsettling. It feels better though to at least acknowledge that than to try to ignore it like I did previously, you know, jumping back into work. It feels better to acknowledge it, but I still don't know how I'm going to get meaning in my life, in my present position. Yeah, well, that's tough. I mean, and especially when you've been kind of told what you were supposed to do, what you said supposed to, mm -hmm. numerous times when we talked before, um, what you're supposed to do, and if that's not working anymore, that's, mm -hmm. that's pretty heavy. It's mm -hmm. pretty heavy mm -hmm. to confront that. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it can be really tough to mm -hmm. kind of figure out what meaning you're going to make of your life. I'm not sure how to go about doing that. Yeah, none of us are. But it's just a process. That's kind of the process, and it's tough. It's really tough. And it's really difficult to start down that path. But it sounds kind of maybe like you've already started down that path. Well, I, I, um, I have just spent more time outdoors, but I haven't actually thought of what to do next. Well... Financially, are you stable? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you're okay, you know, right now with your family and um, with your kids and everything? Mm-hmm, yeah. Maybe it's time to just, you, you get you get the chance to kind of figure out what that meaning is. Mm -hmm. To figure out what that new meaning is. Um, mm -hmm. Not what you're supposed to do, but what maybe it is that you want to create as your own life. Okay. That's tough. Sounds like a hard thing to do. Yeah, it's really scary. It's really, really scary. Yeah. But hopefully we can keep working through that together. 